The universe is a melting pot of mysteries that we may or may not notice. Asteroids, meteors, comets, solar flares, gamma ray bursts, and sometimes strange unidentified signals. As if the idea of what might be lurking out there in deep space isn't terrifying enough, imagine it reaching out to us. Welcome to Factnominal, and today we will be analyzing some of the most chilling mysterious signals ever detected by NASA. Well, we can't exactly stop hurtling through space and time on our tiny blue space rock, but we can focus our efforts on the other two-thirds of this precautionary guideline. NASA has quite the impressive array of scientific equipment to both look and listen for the eerie signals sent to Earth. Wait, listen? Sound can't travel through space because there's no medium for sound to travel through. <laughs> everyone knows that. Well, it turns out that radio waves, particularly in the high frequency range around 1 to 2 gigahertz, are particularly good at traveling through the cosmos. When they are detected on Earth, they register as sounds astronomers and physicists can interpret. As it happens, radio waves seem to be humanity's best choice for both sending and detecting cosmic signals, due to their unique ability to travel at the speed of light while avoiding absorption by cosmic dust or clouds. With a narrow band frequency and radio telescopes highly tuned to the correct portion of the spectrum, we just might get a hit on a signal indicating extraterrestrial intelligence. Radio astronomy has been around since Carl G. Jansky stumbled across a radio signal he believed to have originated from outside the solar system in 1933. However, it wasn't until 2007 that the existence of extragalactic signals known as fast radio bursts FRBs, erupted onto the scientific scene in a study conducted by Duncan Lorimer and his student David Narkevich. The proven existence of signals sent to Earth from other galaxies sparked numerous project and agency collaborations to uncover the mysteries that lay at the heart of these signals. Since 2007, fast radio bursts have been living rent-free in the minds of perplexed physicists and astronomers for their truly inconclusive nature. Globally, we have documented the occurrence of somewhere around a thousand of these eerie bright flashes but only been able to track about 15 of them to particular galaxies. Thanks to NASA's Hubble telescope, a group of five short-lived intense FRBs were traced to the arms of their source spiral galaxies. This new data closes some doors pertaining to the causality of these events, but opens plenty more in the process. NASA's Hubble telescope successfully traced the powerful radio bursts to the arms of five relatively young and massive spiral galaxies that are still forming stars. They did not, however, originate from the regions of the galaxies scientists had anticipated, since the radio bursts seemed to be caused by immense flares of electromagnetic energy. Scientists expected to find them coming from the younger, more violently exploding bright regions of the galaxy, or in the older regions where one might find a rare neutron star merger. Finding the FRBs in the arms of young galaxies likely rules out the possibility of powerfully explosive star deaths and neutron star collisions, which can take billions of years to play out. This recent NASA discovery also rules out underlying dwarf galaxies as the progenitors of fast radio bursts. It is important and quite interesting to note that the light and radio emissions NASA is able to procure tell the narratives of galaxies a long time ago because they are so far, far away. Sound familiar? The galaxy studied by NASA's Hubble lies somewhere between 400 million and 9 billion light years away from Earth. This means the universe was about half its current age when the events that triggered the FRB originally occurred. In this way, we can't reasonably expect FRBs to serve as a mode of effective intergalactic communications, as civilizations are likely to die out or advance before a transmission reaches its destination. So, what happens in these young, massive spiral galaxies to cause such an intense signal to be recorded here on Earth? The prevailing theory places blame on one of the strangest objects in the cosmos, magnetars. Though they sound as if you'd find them in your newest fantasy novel, these beasts can be found in the smoldering cores of deceased supernovae where they formed when massive stars much larger than our own die in their phenomenally beautiful and destructive fashion. The inner layer of matter becomes hyperdense, holding the stellar mass equivalent of atoms in a sphere no larger than a city 15 miles in diameter. NASA estimates a mere teaspoon of neutron star weighs over 4 billion tons, 
making it over 600 times heavier than the Great Pyramid of Giza. Neutron stars have incredibly strong magnetic fields on the order of trillions of times that of Earth's that can even alter the natural arrangement of atoms stretching them into noodle-shaped electric field lines. Magnetars are a rare type of neutron star that possess magnetic fields another 1,000 times stronger. They reign dominant as the universe's strongest magnets. The crust of these magnetars is held together tightly by the intense electromagnetic field, and when disrupted or shifted in the slightest fashion, like we're talking millimeters here, explodes violently in what's called a starquake, sometimes releasing as much energy as the sun has emitted in the last 100,000 years in just one-tenth of a second. A mix of X-ray and radio signal flare-ups in the Milky Way offered one heck of an exciting development for astronomers and physicists in April of 2020. Signals of this intensity had never been observed within our own galaxy before, and data from multiple space agencies and universities, including NASA's Wind Mission and Survey for Transient Astronomical Radio Emission 2, or STAIR-2 for short, confirm the corresponding release of both X-ray and radio signals. The source of the FRB detected was traced to a region associated with a known magnetar, SGR 1935, located in the constellation Volpecula, about 14,000 to 41,000 light years away. This exceptionally observable burst likely occurred at or near the magnetic pole of the magnetar, making it stronger than typical eruptions. Magnetars are no doubt interesting and worth keeping an eye on as the likely culprit behind the one off radio bursts that last all of a fraction of a second. However, not all radio bursts are the same. Easily the most mysterious category of radio bursts observed by NASA is that of the repeating variety. Let's take a second to review what we think we know about radio bursts. Number 1. The most likely progenitors of the events are random, spectacularly cataclysmic eruptions of electromagnetic energy, coming from the surface of the strongest magnets in existence. And number 2. Radio waves represent the possibility for effective signal transmission and detection through the medium of transgalactic space. So, how weird and out would you be if I told you that sometimes these incredibly strange bursts of radio waves are narrow-banded and repeat for observable periods of time? Over the course of 47 days in 2019, a single source dubbed FRB121102 was observed to have caused more than 1,650 fast radio bursts, making it by far the largest set of the phenomena ever recorded. Since its discovery, more repeat signals have been detected and studied by NASA. Repeat fast radio bursts offer a unique set of questions related to the origin of intense flashes in the observable universe. However, scientists are running into issues with inconsistencies in how light interacts with the magnetic environments near the bursts, as well as pulse widths that infer longer durations for repeat signals compared to non-repeating FRBs. Since no natural phenomena can be currently applied to the puzzling anomalies ascribed to repeating fast radio bursts, many are beginning to entertain the theory of extraterrestrial attempts at communication. What do you think? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. The prospect of what repeating FRBs could mean to astronomers and physicists really is both exciting and frightening. But these are far from the only mystifying signals NASA has encountered, with instruments able to measure and observe the universe in nearly all known energy spectra, NASA stumbles across some pretty unsettling signals. In 2014, NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope discovered a bizarrely intense event in a small galaxy about 10.7 billion light-years away. X-ray flashes typically indicate a large release of energy. Sometimes our universe gets extremely violent with explosions that can affect entire regions of galaxies in a single event. The event captured by NASA saw at least 1,000 times more energy produced than all the stars in the galaxy in just one day. After that day, the galaxy's brightness subsided and no similar event occurred again. No phenomena of this magnitude has ever been observed in the universe. Gamma ray bursts, or GRBs for short, have frightened astronomers ever since their discovery. When a neutron star merges with another star or is swallowed by a black hole, absurd amounts of gamma rays can be ejected in a particular direction. If a burst is aimed at Earth and the source is close enough, 
humanity may be wiped from existence in a fraction of a second. The event NASA observed does not offer enough data to definitively offer a cause. However, due to the peculiar lack of afterglow and variety of X-ray observed, the involvement of a black hole was ruled out. The sheer intensity of the X-ray burst is puzzling, not to mention the source could not be traced either. We are fortunate to have observed the blast to be multiple billions of light years away. The frightening part is, considering the effects of a similar GRB event in our own Milky Way galaxy. Hopefully, NASA receives more conclusive data soon using both Chandra X-ray Observatory and Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, preferably data concerning an event multiple billions of light years away again. While NASA studies cryptic anomalies from millions and billions of light years away, they also concern themselves with the immediate dangers that are lurking in our own planetary backyard. There is essentially an infinite number of objects zipping through space at any given moment that could end life on Earth. It's just something we're used to by now. Earth's atmosphere protects us from an astounding amount of scary space rocks and harmful particles. But one mystery that remains among the most frightening is the existence of cosmic rays. Ranging in velocity from half to nearly the speed of light, charged particles or nuclei thought to be ejected from the most violent of cosmic events race into our solar system from all over the galaxy and potentially beyond. NASA's Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, or SOFIA 747 Jet, climbs to incredible altitudes to collect vitally important data concerning energetic cosmic rays. Most of the cosmic particles are of lower energy, and Earth's magnetic field has no problem dealing with them. But high-energy particles can act like nanoscopic bullets tearing through the DNA of exposed astronauts and space travelers. You can see how learning more about the mysterious origins of cosmic rays can benefit the safety and future of humanity. NASA's SOFIA attempts to detect hydrides in the Milky Way. By observing these concentrations, NASA hopes to uncover more of the clues surrounding these strange particles' origin and abundance in our galaxy. The universe abounds incomprehensively further with each word you hear from this video. It is both beautiful and terrifying, creative and destructive, impartially chaotic. NASA strives to record and interpret the enigmatic signals it gives from the living history ceaselessly being played out over our heads. It spans billions of years in the making and has more to tell us than we will ever be able to know. So, what fascinates you the most about the universe? Tell us in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching Phenomenal.